Okay, everybody. I'm going to make a short video here to show you people of a little program you have on your, or little tool actually you have on your computer that nobody, I don't think anybody knows about. I found it by accident. It's called a snipping tool. And if you want to send somebody a quick photo, a quick document, and you don't want to go through all kinds of digging around and figuring out how to do it, this is the handiest little thing. So I'll just give you a couple of quick demos. See this airplane? Say you wanted to send somebody a picture of this airplane, but you didn't want to go digging, trying to find the photo image. You didn't want to go online to find it. So let's say, uh, let's say that's all you want to send them. You want to do it quick and easy. So all you got to do is go down to your start button. And in that little window, you type snip. And a little snipping tool program pops up. And everybody has it on their computer, but I don't think anybody knows about it. So you click snipping tool. When you do that, this opens. And you get this little snipping tool window right here. <clears throat> it says drag the cursor around the area you want to capture. Well, you don't have to do anything with that. Don't even touch it. Just look at it. So I want to send them a picture of this airplane. So what you do is you go down to the, it's grayed out. You know the snipping tool is working because it's grayed out. So you go down to the bottom right-hand corner where you want to start your picture. And you left-click on your mouse and you hold the button down. When you hold it down, a little window disappears. Now you can just drag holding the mouse button down. Don't let it go until you get to the where you want. So we want to send that. So once you let go of the button, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, a little window pops up with that picture. So you close the picture by clicking the red X. Then you get this, do you want to save changes? Say yes. It'll be called capture, but you can name it anything you want. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. You can save it wherever you want to save it. Click save. And now, up here, here it is. Just click on it, and there's what you saved. If you want to send it in an email, like if I right-click on it, go to Properties, it's 107 kilobytes. Perfect size for an email photo. Perfect size. And if you want to send, even if you want to send a document, say somebody wants this, so I'll open up my Flight Sim folder, and say somebody wants to know about your any file what's in your any file so you go over here let's say you open up your any file there's your any file same thing go down here to your window type snip click snipping tool i'll move your mouse cursor over to the bottom right hand corner drag it up save it save it since the airplane is captured, I'll call this thing one. So I'll save it and call it one. Save it. Now I can close this. And there you have it. You can send it in an email. And uh, if I right click that, what's the properties on that thing? There you go, 161 kilobytes. Perfect size. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and. Uh, um...